Hey guys, welcome back. I did have a lot of content for you guys. Um, I did a lot of videos um, on the Civic and I did a couple of videos on the Honda Ruckus, but my computer crashed and I lost all of the footage. Uh, yeah, so one day I was gonna, I edited a video, got it ready to upload to YouTube. And then the computer crashed, so I turned it off, restarted it, and when it restarted, it had reverted back to factory settings. Um, I tried to restart it again, tried all kinds of different stuff, but I lost all of the video, including the one I had edited, 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 edited <laughs> um, and lost the video as well. Um, so a lot of the newer videos are gone, completely gone. I mean, other than what's uploaded onto YouTube. Um, but all of my, you know, footage and stuff like that that I kept on the computer itself, uh, a lot of the newer stuff is gone. I did last year um, back up the hard drive onto an external hard drive. So all of that stuff is saved. Um, so, but a lot of the new stuff is gone. Um, I did, was, did manage to make a video and... Uh, if you guys didn't see it, I uploaded it a couple of weeks ago or last week or something like that uh, on the Honda Ruckus. And um, while I was out driving it, um, I was going on the freeway or the main highway and it was cutting out a lot. And which I knew I had to adjust the, um, the carburetor because um, I'm still running the stock GY6 carb that I have on it now. Um, so I went ahead and ordered a new carburetor uh, where did I put it? Over here. Right here. I did order this um, to upgrade the carburetor that I have on now. Um, it does come with some jets. I do have some others at home, but I'm going to pull this apart, take it off, and um, see what's inside there. Um, I believe I did take apart, was able to take apart this carburetor to see what the jets were um, this is a slide a flat what they call a flat side uh, sliding carb um, which this is the um, is a cable driven carb um, and so I have to re replace the cable as well I did have this one at home hopefully it's long enough wide open throttle it just pops and sputters and it does not like it so that means it's it's running really lean so um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and pull off that carb, put this one on, uh, take apart the other one, that one first and see what jets are in it and then see if I need to upgrade these guys. And then uh, I'm not, like I say, I'm not taking off that cable yet um, just in case this one doesn't work because I don't want to go through the whole hassle of running this through the battery box underneath the frame, all that other stuff, and, and then it not work. So, um, you know, I can still... Uh, control the carburetor just by um, you know moving the uh, the cable like this and see if it works uh, I do have um, as far as the Civic goes um, I did do a little bit of work to it like I say I lost all that footage um, and that and all I did was uh, I aligned it um, and just by using a measuring tape on the front and the back side of the tires on the front end and making sure they were straight and they needed to be adjusted really bad. So they're a lot better now. Um, I had to tighten up the bolts on the upper A-arms because they were really loose for some reason. I don't know why. Um, a couple of um, things that I ordered back in August, which was like two months ago. I called them up last Monday or something like that. And it was like, you know, I ordered these two months ago and they're not in yet. And they got back to me and it's like, hey, we shipped them out. You'll, you'll have them in, in three or four days. And so they, they shipped them out really fast. So that's good. And like I say, I got a, a notification that they should be in today, hopefully. 
and um, I will let you, I will show you guys what they are. Well, just as I was pulling off that carb, uh, FedEx just pulled up. Um, there is some damage to that box, so I took pictures of it before. Um, so we're going to open it up and see um, how they look. There they are. Now you might be wondering why I ordered these. Um, when I first built the car, um, I used a whole gallon of paint to do the interior um, of the chassis, um, engine bay, doors, in and out, fenders, not fenders, um, quarter panels, um, and some other little things. So I used a whole quart for that. So I had to go and actually did the front bumpers, front and rear bumper as well. Uh, but anyways, I needed another quart uh, or a gallon of paint because I still needed the fenders. I still needed the cage, the um, uh, valve cover, things like that. Um, so I went, I had to drive all the way two and a half hours away to another place because locally they didn't have the uh, the right... I don't know, they, they couldn't mix it for some reason, I don't know why, but I checked it here, they couldn't do it. So I had to do two, drive two and a half hours, get the paint, and then use that. Um, so I drove back after I used the whole quart or gallon, uh, went and got another gallon, um, and when I painted the fenders, I mean, everything looked good until I put it on the car. And then if you look at certain pictures, the fenders did not match. They're... I'm not sure if they're lighter. Yeah, they think they're lighter uh, for some reason. And I really, really didn't like that. So um, I thought about it and, you know, I could have repainted the fenders and tried to match it. But, you know, I was like, all right. I originally wanted to do the Kevlar fenders to go with the hood, to go with the ducks and the uh, Kevlar lip. And everything else that I have Kevlar on there. Uh, so I, I decided well, a couple of months ago, um, I had the money. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it. So I ordered these. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to put them on. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to look good, but I'm going to keep them on anyways. So uh, shout out to uh, Special Carbon Fiber for these who made my hood um, and some other little in the, in the tailgate and stuff like that. Um, for the other Kevlar pieces, uh, they got it out, shipped out re really fast, but like I say, it took a while, um, to make, uh, I'll, I, I'll post a link down below and you can, you can check them out, but they have Kevlar, carbon fiber, all kinds of different pieces for different cars, but yeah, let's put these on and see what they look like. All right, so we're out of work, came here, started pulling this apart. One thing I forgot about working on this car is you just can't be like pulling crap off you know with no regard for anything it's like you got to really be careful it's not like my truck where I just bash it with a hammer to take things off 
and just trying to make sure that I don't scratch anything and stuff like that. So I took off one of the shocks, so I have to have this piece of pipe holding it up. I'm going to kind of do one at a time because um, I just, you know, I, I want to make sure it's all, all the lines are straight, every all the gaps are even and stuff like that. I actually, when I pull off this fender, I'm going to have to align this door a little bit because it's, it's dropped down a little bit on that end so if i could raise it up just a little bit and have that clearance um i can't show you right now because i took off all the bolts but it's actually scraping down at that bottom area so i'm gonna go ahead and pull it off um pull off this fender i already got off all the bolts and then we'll put the other one on so and of course it's windy as usual but i'm kind of blocked in by the house and stuff like that so hopefully it doesn't get too crazy all right, so just so you know, um, if you order order these fenders, um, you have to drill the holes out. Um, it actually comes with the holes already here, but they're too small to put the clips in for the mud guards if you're running mud guards. Um, and also, um, there is no hole for the front bumper, um, so you got to drill out the hole to put the clip in. Um, all the I mean it has all the other holes I'm not sure if they're I haven't even tried it yet to see if they're big enough but they're a little too small so I might have to drill them out just a little bit more um, so in case you just you know sometimes you have to move around the fender so you have even gaps all the way around so you might want to make these holes just a little bit bigger right away before you put it on the car all right, got this one on. Gaps on the door look really good. I was having trouble. I had to take it off a couple of times. Um, I had to widen the holes kind of this way. That way I can pull it out more. But it's hitting the pinch weld on this side. So it can't go out anymore. Um, I did get this side on as well. Um, this part of the fender is pushed in too much. Um, so I'm going to have to put like some spacers or something like that behind uh, that mounting bolt that's down on that corner uh, to pull it out, I don't know, maybe a quarter of an inch or so. Uh, because right now I can't even open the door because it's starting to hit right there. So yeah, I got to pull it out about a quarter of an inch. Um, I started kind of messing around with the hood to kind of... Um, pull it this way because it was hitting on this corner and so I loosened the bolts down on that hinge and then kind of pulled it up forward and um, so you can see the gaps look really good here it's still kind of close but I can't tell because I can't close the hood all the way because the hood pin that I made is hitting right there so I'd have to pull this hood pin push it back about maybe a quarter of an inch or so but it's getting dark Sun is down I mean it, it doesn't look as dark to you um, but right here it is it's just pretty dark so what I'm gonna do is I guess I'm just gonna close this up and um, uh, tomorrow when I come in which is Saturday uh, I gotta pull off the headlight and um, either drill out this hole a little bit bigger and move this down. Um, I don't know how much movement I have because I have to take off the headlight because there's a nut that goes in here that tightens this down. But other than that, um, the fitment is, 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 is okay. It's, uh, like I say, fiberglass and, and, and Kevlar molds tend to shrink and and move about um, with anything so uh, yeah I don't want to get into you know cutting the hood or sanding or anything like that um, yeah I just don't want to do that because that means reclearing the hood but I am gonna have to polish the hood because I'm not sure why this is happening but it's starting to get like discolored right here at the end So I think if I just give it like a really, you know, high grit um, sanding, 
take off that haziness that's right here. Um, I can just polish it. Hopefully it'll go away. But uh, yeah, that's I guess that's all I'm going to do now. I can probably close this guy. And um, that way it doesn't pop back up. But this is the way it's going to look. Like I say, I'm going to stop tomorrow and get another longer M6 bolt and a couple of washers. That way it can pull this fender out about a quarter of an inch. And um, like I say, the gaps on the door look really good. All the way down. So that looks good. And um, it really needs a washing bad. But like I say, it's going to... And it's going to snow on Sunday, I think, is what the forecast says. So, um, I might, I'll might i just wash it anyways, or at least rinse it off, because it just looks really nasty. I mean, look at that. That, that is just gross. You're not, not good at all. Um, and then tomorrow, like I say, when I pull out that fender um, and get this to close, then... I could put the front bumper on and then we can see how it really looks. guys so there it is actually looks really nice I know it, it is a mess it is really dirty I haven't washed it in god probably like two weeks and I still have to uh, get some sandpaper like uh, 2000 or 1500 grit and then sand I don't know if I have to sand the whole hood or not but I'm gonna sand definitely that area to get that kind of hazy part out um, and uh, just need to touch up a little spots. Um, when I was pulling on this fender, trying to get it to line up, the uh, the double stick tape on these came off. So I think I'm gonna use some of those plastic rivets that I have and just put like I don't know two or three of them just to hold it in place. Because uh, I use some really strong uh, double stick uh, 3M tape and it it just popped off. So. But yeah, this is uh, looks good, and I tried to start it so I can pull it to the back and wash it because it's actually snowed this morning and uh, rained after that. So this car, like I say, is a mess. Uh, needs to be washed really bad. So I'm gonna have to hook up the uh, battery charger and just get it charged so I can wash it or rinse it off at least. Uh, but other than that, yeah, this is it. Looks really good. Uh, I think the only um, uh thing that i have to say that gave me a little bit of trouble was lining everything up like i say you, you have to drill out all the holes along the fender you have to drill out the holes for the the uh, turn uh signal lens uh drill out the holes for the mounting um tabs on the bumper and I think that's it. That was it. But all the other holes had to be kind of enlarged. That way you could kind of move it back and forth, um, you know, to line it up. But other than that, it came out really good. Um, I just had to pull this bumper, this uh, hood forward, uh, maybe about a quarter of an inch, which meant I had to uh, elongate that um, that mounting hole for this um, tab right here. So I had to move this forward. Uh, that way everything would line up so but everything looks good um like i say it needs to be washed but i don't know i'm probably gonna g give it a really good detail um um sometime i don't know when like i say it's winter time now so it's like all it's gonna do is sit here and uh, uh i think the next thing i'm gonna tackle well, next thing on the list, and yes, I am wearing a tank top and shorts. <laughs> Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know, but it, yeah, I'm gonna. The next thing on my list is relocating the battery um, or getting a different type of battery. Maybe an OEM spec battery. 
uh, and mount it underneath the bumper. Um, yeah, because that, I don't know, that Odyssey battery is just junk. It just never keeps a charge. And, and I've checked my alternator and it's throwing off a, you know, it's it's charging. But for some reason that battery's always dead. Uh, but anyways, guys, um, there it is. Special carbon fiber. Thank you for the, uh, the fenders. And um, yeah, if you guys like the video, thumbs up, please. Um, hit the like subscribe if you haven't yet and um, we'll see what else we got in store for, uh, for this car there's a couple of other little things that I got in store that I want to do maybe not till the summer we'll see but anyways thanks for watching guys